Hi and welcome to my math class. Today we're doing a revision video on solving for x. In this video we are going to cover different concept of solving for x that we have learned in grade 11. This is the second video of summaries. So please refer to our first video before continuing with this video. When we are given a root sign, what we need to do is we need to always try and get the root sign on one side and the constant on the other side. So first we get root equals to constant. Then we square both sides. Once we square both sides, you will see that you end up with a standard trinomial. So we've got the root on the one side of the equal to sign and x minus 3 on the other side of the equal to sign. We square both sides. Now once we square both sides, the square cancels out with the root, leaving us with x plus 13 is equal to. Now, at this level, it is a common error that pupils tell us x minus 3 all squared is equal to x squared plus 9. This is not correct. You have to do the entire kitty cat, which will give us x squared minus 6x plus 9. Many a times, because you're in a rush, 6x disappears. So rather, write down the two brackets, do the kitty cat and get it correct. Now, once we've done that, we at a normal trinomial. We have x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus x minus 13 is equal to 0. Leaving us with x squared minus 7x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so once we've done that, we have to look at the trinomial. In this case, we're going to use a formula where x is equal to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We substitute. Your a is 1, your b is minus 7, and your c is minus 4. So we have x is equal to minus minus 7 plus minus b squared minus 4ac to minus 4. Knowing that our a, b, and c are the numbers that are in our trinomial. a is 1, b is minus 7, c is minus 4. All over 2 into 1. Then we use our calculators to get our answers. We have x is equal to 0, 0,53 and x is equal to negative 0, 0,53. If we are given a question where we have two roots, then we would make it root equal to root we would square both sides but this one is always easier because the roots cancel out so we're left with simple x plus 4 is equal to 2x minus 1 if we're solving for x we're going to have x is equal to 5 Now, if you look at the first type of root and the second type of root, you will notice that the only difference is the first row. When you get the root alone or you get the roots on two separate sides. The next method that we're going to discuss is the K method. Now, the K method you would use when you notice that there is something that is repeated constantly. And if you were to get rid of it, in other words, if I had to square my left-hand side and my right-hand side, on my left-hand side, I would end up with a to the power 4. Now, if you see that you're going to end up with any equation where a is higher than the power of 2, you need to stop and find a different method. In this case, we're going to use k. So you make k is equal to a squared minus a. Then we use substitution. So wherever a squared minus a is, I'm taking it out, and I'm going to put k plus 2 is equal to the root of k plus 8. Now you will notice that I have a root sign. So I'm going to use all the root sign method to solve for k. I square both sides. I end up with k plus 2 all squared 
is equal to k plus 8. Now remembering that when we are getting rid of k plus 2 all squared, we must rather do the long method if we are not familiar with the question. Once we have k plus 2 all squared is equal to k plus 8, we get rid of the brackets which will give us k squared plus 4k plus 4 is equal to k plus 8. Then we make it a trinomial so we got k squared plus 3k minus 4 is equal to 0. In other words we bring all the k's on one side and make it equal to 0. This would give us k plus 4 k minus 1. Using our linear rules we got k is equal to minus 4 k is equal to 1. Now how we did that was we made k plus 4 is equal to 0, k minus 1 is equal to 0 and we solve each one linear by means of a linear equation. If you are not familiar with this please look at our first video on summaries of solve for x. Then you have to go back Go back to where we say k is equal to a squared minus a. Remember the question will say solve for a or solve for x. Read the question. In this case it is solve for a. So we got a squared minus a is equal to negative 4. And on, this, on the right hand side we have a squared minus a is equal to 1. So we substitute a squared minus a is equal to minus 4. So basically we're taking the minus 4 and we're putting it back in its k. And then we're doing the same thing with the 1. We're taking out the 1 and we're putting it back in k. Then you have to solve each, each equation on its own. a squared minus a plus 4 is equal to 0. And a squared minus a minus 1 is equal to 0. In both cases here, you would have to use the formula. Right. When we use the formula, we will see that a is equal to 1, 61. a is equal to negative 0, 61. For a squared minus a plus 4, you will see it will say undefined because it's non-real. If you do b squared minus 4ac, you will see your calculator says unreal. So for this one, there is no solution. But for the right hand side, there is a solution. a is equal to 1, 61 and a is equal to minus 0, 61. Now, I would like you to look at x is equal to 0, 53 and x is equal to minus 0, 53. A lot of times people use the formula. They calculate the first one and then they rewrite the second one by simply putting a negative. But that is not always the case. You will see in this case where we had used the formula, the answers are different. It's not minus 0, 0,61 and plus 0, 0,61. So therefore it is emphasized that the pupils take the time to go back and change the plus and minus to get the correct answer. The next one we're doing is squaring. So if we have x minus 2 all squared is equal to 16. Now, when we're using this method, we square root both sides. When we square root, the one square would cancel out the root. But the second one, it is not cancelling. So our answer is plus or minus 4, not just plus 4. That would give us two equations. x minus 2 is equal to 4 and x minus 2 is equal to negative 4. We solve each equation as a linear equation. We got x is equal to 6 and x is equal to minus 2. Thank you for watching.